What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to another fan outfit review video. The first one of 2020 featuring a lot of your looks from 2019. I had asked for some of your holiday looks. Some of you sent me other looks that I'm really looking forward to going through right now. And I want you to please bear in mind these are just my thoughts. I think fashion is very subjective. Obviously you sent them in to hear my thoughts so please don't be um, offended or take anything the wrong way. I'm trying to be as critical as I can to give you guys something to work off of. If you just sent it in to get some praise, maybe you'll get that praise, but I'm gonna try and look for constructive criticism. So let's jump right in. Here's the first look that we've got in the forest from Koshun Lee. I like this. Uh, first of all, big fan of brown and black. So, and the turtleneck, I think I'm pretty sure I have that turtleneck and wore that most of the winter. Next up, we've got a look featuring blue and yellow, which I also think I have that yellow sweater. If that's from H&M, let me know. I really like how you match the watch here and how you play it with the accessories. And then we have a really nice plaid. You can actually see the blue and green plaid um, of the suit. Looks like a solid Christmas look. For Christmas, I maybe would have gone for like a Bordeaux underneath this. I think that could have complemented the blue and the green a little bit better, but otherwise, really nice. Next up, we've got denim on denim with a white t-shirt. Um, I don't like those types of jackets anymore. I feel like they were big a few years back where you had the denim part, the, the trucker jacket part, then the hoodie and the sweater, then the hoodie and the sleeves made of that sweatshirt material. I would maybe roll the pants a little bit wider. So I like the, I think the roll is a little bit too slim. And I don't like the shoes personally. I just don't like any any low top Converse. Not any low top Converse, but like most of the ones. Next up from Wa Wacky Valdez, um, who's a big big part of the ODS squad. Thank you, man. Would I wear this look? Probably not, because it's a little. Uh, I've tried overalls a couple times, but I think you absolutely rock it. I like the I like the lavender hoodie underneath it. Honestly, it's. I think you, you probably know it's a very specific look, but you're going for it and you're killing it. Next up, uh, that Zara sweater that I wore and I'm wearing the turtleneck underneath. I'm not sure if you got inspired by me from that recent post I did. Was I wearing this sweater? No, I was wearing something else. I like it. I think I, I, I think you said something in your messages about having fun with Christmas socks, which I think uh, it, it works here. I would have maybe liked to see if you haven't that much fun with the socks, maybe have like something at least red-ish because now they're just like in such harsh contrast. If you put a pair of boots on, I think this look is really solid. I'm not sure how I feel about the sweater tucked in. Then we got a cool a cool winter outfit. I, this, this is a beautiful winter sweater. I love the upper half. I think the pants are a little bit ill-fitting. They seem to be pulling a little bit too much around the thigh and then are a little too short for the Chelsea boots. I think with Chelsea boots, it makes the most sense if they at least hit the top of the chest boots just a little bit. Otherwise, I really, I really like the top half. It's a really fun, light colored. I love that someone's embracing white more for the winter here. Then we've got Moritz, um, beautiful jacket. I think you could probably size down in it or could half size down in it anyway. I like what you did with the plaid pants. I just don't love how it looks with the desert boots. I think the desert boots need to be a little bit more refined if you're going for the plaid pants because the jacket's already pretty rugged, then you're going with the shoes that are rugged, then I want to I want to expect that like faded jeans or, or ripped jeans or something like that to like bring that home. I would say size down the jacket, then the, it works perfectly with the plaid pants, but then go for like a, either a clean sneaker or a, a much cleaner, more dressy boot. Then we've got an achromatic look here, gray sweater, black overcoat, black and gray scarf and black like solid. I actually, I like your hair too. It's a solid look. And when you guys send me photos, make sure to keep it in the best lighting so I can really see the details of it. From what I can see here, since it's backlit and dark, looks solid, the silhouettes look nice, the, the shoes look nice. All right, next look, we've got a pea coat, which I'm not the biggest fan of pea coats altogether, and a V-neck, another thing that I'm not the biggest fan of. But otherwise, I think the look works. Uh, once again, working with tan and which is brown and black, which I love. I love that you guys are embracing that because I think it's definitely a possibility. I think the shoes are a little bit too bulky through the throat, so I think they're solid for the first half, and then I wish they were a little bit more slim in the throat because they are pretty high so that the pants wrap around a little bit more nicely. Otherwise, I think it works nicely. The overall combination, I just would have chosen instead of a V-neck, a crew neck, and instead of a pea coat, a trench coat. But that's about it. Then we've got a summer winter outfit. Um, we can't forget about all our lovely ODS squad members from down below the equator. And love this. Print on print, um, matching shorts with the shirt. I, uh, yeah, there's not a lot going on here, but there's a lot going on here, but obviously it's meant to go together, so it's not, not, there's not a lot that, that, can, that you can mess up. 
Maybe you could have added a couple more accessories to actually go for it a little more, especially around the neck. I think it looks a little, um, it looks a little black, but that's about it. Then we've got a black and brown combo with a beautiful mock neck, uh, nice and slim fitting. Then going for a contrasting loose fitting pleated pants with the old school Vans. Solid, man. I like this a lot. Maybe take your phone out the pocket or it's like empty your pockets the next time you take the photo, but it's just... That's just a stupid advice that I'm trying to look for something right now. No, it's, it's nice, really nice. All right, then we've got some more plaid pant action with a pair of double monk strap boots. Personally, not a big fan of mixed material double monks anymore. They're a very particular look, but you see, I mean, obviously this look is overall particular even with the with the hat. I really like the hat. I really like the scarf. The sweater I'm kind of indifferent about. I think everything about it is so loud that I wish the sweater was kind of like, I don't know, if it was a navy or something that, that was even more dull to let the other things stand out more. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that it kind of clashes with the with the scarf minimally. And personally I would wear different shoes, but I think this is cool. Like you definitely have, I think you know you have a certain look and a certain style and it's cool. You go for it man, you do you. In, in London, for sure. If you're not in London, then I don't know. <laughs> Alright, this one's upside down. We've got black Chelsea's, black jeans, black t-shirt, then a red and black flannel and a black leather jacket. Solid. I think the only thing that I would say is the jeans look minimally ill-fitting around the knees. There's some bulking happening around the ankle. It's not clean enough. Yeah, but that's about it. I I would love to see this in like a in a, in a photo where it's where it's also like a little bit more in action where you don't have your hands in the pocket. I think it's not necessarily helping the shape of the jacket, but that's that's it. It's all it, man. And we got some studio stuff right here. Okay, um, a nice nylon bomber jacket. It's a little oversized. The white shirt with some minimal graphics on the chest. Accessories, joggers, sneakers. Solid. I mean, you wore it to the studio. <laughs> you probably knew that it was one of your one of your favorite looks. Okay, then we got someone very busy on the on the phone here. Um, Adi Aditya. Aditya, um, if you guys could in the future send me your photos as as photos, not as a reply to my story, because then this happens. Um, we got a white sweater, we got black chinos and green bands. Solid. I like it. Yeah, you just got the Timex watch, but I don't really see much of it. Um, I like your specs. I think overall it works. The pants are pretty slim. The sweater, in comparison, is a little bit more bulky, but it works for me. A little bit more experimental here with a striped. I think this is from Zara, correct me if I'm wrong. Stri striped Zara shirt, turtleneck underneath the belt, chinos, and then the chunky sneakers with the white socks. Very particular look that I think you're going for, and I think you're you're, you're doing it. I think you're doing it well. It's not my area ex of expertise, this particular look, to be honest, because it's a little bit more fashion, it's a little bit more abstract and modern. So I don't really have much to offer, but I like it. If I saw you walking down the street like that, I'd be like, yeah, cool, works. All right, Bordeaux sweater, white shirt, Scarf, black jeans, black shoes. Nice. It doesn't have to be something special for you to be looking good in your outfit. And as long as you feel good, that's all that matters, right? Okay. Christmas lights. Anybody else kind of upset that Christmas is already over? Like it's only 11 more months until Christmas is only three weeks away again. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit low res. It's a camel coat with a black outfit. Try and send me high res photos so I can actually see what's going on. Oh, it's 11 11. Yeah. Okay, Flo uh, very summer. I'm assuming where you are, it's summer in the winter. In our winter, not your winter. Nice shirt. I, I Again, I don't see the shoes. I'm personally not a fan of the hat. I think you, have, you look like you have nice hair. Ditch the hat. I think your your hair is going to do more for you than than a straw hat with this look. All right, that's a cool, it's a cool jacket. <laughs> and the rest I can't see. Ooh, I love this. I really, really like this. Who, who's this? Who just who sent this? I am Vinny, 3000. Really nice look. Beautiful jacket. I love, uh, I love the black base here with the rich caramel suede jacket. Also beautiful photo, to be honest. You know, I think the photo's doing a lot for it, but then we got a couple of dropper boots, which are sadly not Ankari Flores because there's a zipper on the inside, but a uh, really nice look. I like this a lot. All right, speaking of all black bases, then with a pop of turquoise. Personally, I think that's a little bit too harsh and I would probably ditch their gloves. I think the hat is already a lot and then the shades are kind of a statement. I don't think you need the uh, gloves if you're gonna go for a, a teal um, trucker jacket like that. Okay, we got a vest, some chinos, Adidas and a turtleneck. I think the vest and the chinos are primarily what's bothering me because they're not of the same fabric and they're not different enough to be worn together in my opinion. The chinos on the on your left leg, so like this, this leg right here, that looks good to me but here it looks like there's a whole lot going on so I would probably, especially if you're wearing them with sneakers, I would probably taper them a little bit and take them up a little higher. Ooh, that's a cool look. It's also a cool photo. 
Again, like if you send me cool photos, I'm always gonna be like, oh, that's cool. But let's keep it about the outfit. Uh, all black, plaited, patterned pants, loafers, suspenders with a coat. Looks dope. Okay, we got Air Force Ones with chinos, a blazer, a shirt, a scarf. Um, I don't like the Air Force Ones with, with, with it. I can't really see the rest of the outfit, but I think it works for me. I don't think, I think the Air Force Ones are too chunky. I would go for something a little bit more slim. Oh, uh -huh. don't we all love love? Hmm. Uh, these two lovely people in London uh, with a mock neck coat. Same thing with the with the pants. I think the only thing that I'd say is the pants seem maybe a tiny bit short for the Chelsea's. Otherwise, I can't really see much of the outfit. But what I see, I like. Yes, I saw this one. Obviously, I, I'm the one going through all your messages, taking a screenshot so I can actually record this video. So I saw this one. I posted. Damn, man, you look at fly as hell, Oscar. Ugh. All right. I mean, I, I I would not be able to pull off a red suit as well as you, my man. That's that's dope with the with the bow tie like that and the and the and the shoes. Beautiful. Proper. What uh, was it? Not playing fair tonight. What was it? It's December 30, 21st. I hope you went to a like, Christmas party or something. <laughs> not to your dentist, because then it would be a little weird. <laughs> um, can't see what's going on here. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. This is really nice. Yeah, beautiful turtleneck trucker jacket. I love the boots. But they work, like, I, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, it's all subjective. I don't love the boots personally, but like, with the skinny jeans and everything, really nice. And even the frames. Cool, man. Another Christmas one. Yay. Um, nice little Christmas sweater. Otherwise, I don't see much of what's going on. Chelsea boots. Nice. Nice treat, also. Freaking massive. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one came from Korea. So this type of leather jacket, I, I have not liked for the longest. As of recent, I started kind of like liking it again if, because of guys like you. Like, I, I think this looks nice. Uh, it's a nice fit overall. The jeans look pretty s like slim straight versus like the skinny, slim skinny that I usually tend to go for. But I'm starting to like, my brain is starting to adapt to that a little bit. So maybe you'll start seeing that. Yeah, I say that now and I stand in front of the mirror and I just don't like it anyway. But. We'll see. I like it. It's all a look, all black. But again, the more experimental you get, the more feedback you get. These two brothers wearing the same outfit but in different colors. I really like that. Yeah, I don't see much, but what I do see, I like. Uh, turtleneck and a, and a sweater with the same jacket but in different colors. And some flat pants. Looks nice. I really wish I could see the... Uh, the shoes you're wearing with that. Got a nice brown suit. I think you gotta you gotta check when you're buying suits, make sure that your shoulders align proper because what's happening here right now is that you have a lot of wrinkling on the upper arm as well as your shoulder like padding is almost standing off a little bit. So the suit is probably a bit too small. Uh, otherwise, solid. I like it with the white turtleneck, with the white mock neck, I'm sorry. Hmm. A little dark. I don't love the shape of the pants or the boots. I like what's happening on the upper body. Okay, you guys with the white with the white turn next next to the uh, Eiffel Tower. Nice. Uh, same thing. Not sure how I feel about the boots so much. I'm I'm big on shoes, and I think like that's why I have a shoe company. It's a lot about the small details. So um, the things I'll have most issues with is probably shoes because I know how, what I like in shoes, and I don't like most shoes. That's why I have my own company. <laughs> Okay, ah, it's too pixelated. Um, I think the colors are a little bit much because the pants almost seem with the blue and red almost seem purple and then the, the tan or yellow seems pretty saturated, so that's a little bit much for me. Um, but overall, I wish I could see the details more because I think I like the silhouette of, of the look. Um, ah, yes, I remember this. So I think this is going in a really good direction, but then a lot of the small details are just a tiny bit off. For example, let's talk about the hood and the overcoat. I think the overcoat should be flapped down. It looks like the collar is up, which makes this look a little bit more difficult. And thus the hood is kind of standing up a little weirdly. Two, the hemline of the hoodie. I think you flipped it in, so now it's almost like pouching in a little bit. So maybe like just flip that back out, even add a little t-shirt that peeks out. You guys know I love doing that just to, to break up the look a little bit. Um, I like the coat itself and then the boots. Honestly, just I think I just got to tie them a little bit more closely because they don't, they look like they're pretty loose and I don't look, they almost look a little, little like too chunky with the whole thing. Okay, black and tan again, simple look. Don't love these shoes, but also I'm not the biggest fan of desert boots unless they're Clarks because I think they're the only ones that are really nailing that silhouette. Uh, I like this too. I believe this was from Argentina, sent in from Argentina with a white cable knit, uh, double breasted blazer, double monks and the raw denim jeans. I like it. The double monks seem like they're unbuckled for the top one which is a very particular look. I think you know what you're doing. Like you look you look good overall. I, I personally like if I'm gonna wear double monks, I'm gonna buckle them in both of them by now because I think that looks a little done. But that's me personally. The last thing is the, I don't know if it's because of the scarf that I don't love the blazer and the and the sweater together. I think they're a little bit too similar. Okay, the high, <laughs> the patent leather shoes with the, 
overcoat, raw denim jeans. I, I like this. I wish your shoes were in patent leather. I think patent leather, I don't, I don't even necessarily love it with a tuxedo, but I think the only time you really should wear that is with a tuxedo. But at the end of the day, it's fashion you do you. If it makes you happy and it makes you feel confident, then do that, but I personally wouldn't. Almost didn't include this because it wasn't a full body, but I wanted to talk about it because I actually really like the, uh, this is a nice flannel with the turtleneck. Uh, the turtleneck seems a little bit loose, but that's okay with me. And then I actually kind of like what you did with the jacket, which is weird because I would never think to wear those three pieces together, but overall it kind of works for me, so I wanted to call that out. Uh, yes, okay, here we got a double-breasted trench coat, ripped jeans, timbers, and the scarf. I think only thing would be just buck, uh, like the, the, the Timbas lose like that was how I wore them with my baggy jeans when I was like 15. And I think in that era it was more of that. I think the only, th just tie up the Timberlands and, and you're, you're good. They actually came out with a new silhouette that's a little bit slimmer than the classic Timberlands that are actually waterproof. I love them. I think they're a little bit more adequate for that type of style because the rest of the outfit, if I like just cover that up, it looks really, really nice. Oh, there's a beanie in <laughs> here. See that? Yeah, I love the way you played with the color against the like the two lighter versions against the two more saturated versions. So it's really it's really nice. I would just tie up the Timberlands. All right, we got Gucci loafers, a cable knit sweater, some pants. Wish you were standing up so I could see a little bit more of the look as a whole. I personally am not a big fan of Gucci. Otherwise, you'd like if I was, you'd probably have seen me in some by now. But it's nice. It's a nice Christmas look, and I actually kind of like these. They're at least not so loud. A lot of Gucci loafers are just a little bit too in your face. We got a poncho, some high tops, and chinos. The poncho is really nice. Uh, I just don't see anything else out of the outfit. I actually don't love the way the sneakers look with the poncho. Um, the white is a little bit too contrasty for me, but that's it. Okay, we got some Jordans, slim jeans, white t-shirt, red flannel. I, I don't see the need for the backs, uh, for the backs um, green hat. Like, I think you're, you're solid with the color story. Yeah, I would just dish the hat. We got some Vans, bomber jacket, white t-shirt, black chinos. Nice, nice. Oh, all right, we're through. This time I think I actually went through everything that you guys sent me unless it was completely dark and I didn't see anything. And even those I kind of include the today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you, all of you that are watching that weren't in this video would like to see another one, leave a comment down below. I'd love to make one for you guys and share your thoughts with me as long as you guys are still interested in being featured here on the channel. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope to see you soon with the next video. And until then, make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's always the first place I announce that I'm doing one of these and that's how you make sure that you get... Siri, what? Before I can help with that, I need to know who's speaking. I'm not talking to you. No, no, shut up. No, no. Okay, so um, yes, follow me on Instagram because that's where you'll find out so you don't miss out on it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye, stay dapper.